Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cripple Space Program. L last we left off, uh, we got back from the moon. We got a lot of science. We uh, got a lot of money. Uh, and we were getting our missions ready so we could try to go back to the moon, I think. I think the next thing we need to do is land on it. Um, there's still a lot of science to gain. Uh, we don't want any of that. There's still a lot of science to gain. Actually, there was one thing I wanted to do, now that I think about it. Oh, man, I don't know. Ooh, that's a big orbit. Hmm. The one thing I wanted to do was try to, uh, recover or terminate or recover any of these debris stuff. Yeah, recover. Uh, so that we'll just clean up that. We have this satellite. Let's just. I wanna. I wanna click on this satellite. Let's fly. And we need to figure out whether we can get into that specific orbit or not. Okay, that's that's gonna be our goal. With this thing, it doesn't have a lot of fuel, but it's not that big, so it might be able to do it. Let's see. Uh, we want to. I think at first, let's see, we want to set as target. No, not the moon. We want the moon as a target. We want... Huh. Well, this will give us a... Uh, let's see. This will give us a reference point, I think. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can't figure this out. All right. Okay. This will give us a reference point. So we want to, like, what? Do it. Do a. No, that's not what I want. I want to put, like, one here. And I want to make this descend, right? Like this. And then go out. Oh, boy. This is going to be difficult. Oh, I don't know how we're going to do this. Oh. See. No, we don't want that. We want it like along. We want it to touch there, right? Oh my goodness! Sometimes <laughs> this is just ah. Okay. I have no idea. I mean, that looks about right. Um, it's kind of in the wrong spot, though. Come back around. That's fine. Um, let's get rid of this target. We don't want to target this. Unset target. Uh, is there a way to, like, figure this out? Oh, my goodness. I want to mark this. Can I mark this? I want to mark this. We know we want to get... Okay. Oh, man. Oh, we need to go. Oh, so that's where the next thing we need to go. We need to go to the North Pole, apparently. Which is actually pretty easy to land on, unless they changed it, which they might have. Let's be honest here. <laughs> they might have changed it. Uh, it used to be easy. Can I? Oh, I just can't do that because I've passed it already. Okay, cool. Cool. That's fine. Let's just um, check this. Okay, so we want to mark it here, I think. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, come on. That's not what I want to do. I mean, we don't have to get it exact, I think. I think we just need to get close to it. So if we... Oh, that's too much. Uh, so how far off is this? 11,000 uh, kilometers? I mean, that's pretty good. If we just... um, Hmm see here we want to raise this nope we want to go the other way actually and then lower our distance oh man this is just too much <laughs> no that's not what I want I want that uh, let's see oh, gosh Does that look aligned I have no idea nope doesn't <laughs> what am I doing Oh, what is this orbit even? Oh, there's got to be a better way of doing this. We need to set our orientation up so that it's aligned 
with this here. Like that, like right here. Set a maneuver node right there. Let's go out from there. We're gonna hit the moon before we can, uh, that's not good. The moon can't be there. So that doesn't really work. Okay, thanks game. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna count right now and I'll just, I'll be right back when I figure out this, this, uh, burn. I, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll be right back. All right, I think I got a burn that looks pretty good. Uh, so if we can get here in like a half hour, we can uh, burn here. I got the Apple apps right next to the down node, our descending node, uh, and it's all it's all lined up. It looks pretty good uh, from here. Uh, so if we make this burn, we should be able to get here. Then even everything out is the goal. This is pretty. Once we get, I think once we get here, we just make a, a circular orbit. I don't know how long of a burn I'll need, but we will find out. This orbit, once we get here, will be a little weird because it's going to be affected by the moon. I just know it. It's close enough to the orbit of the moon that eventually I will run into the moon and it will cause problems. But this is the orbit they want us to get in. We're going to get in it. So, again, I don't know how much time I need to spend burning. Uh, and I'm a little concerned about... I'm going to wait till we get closer. Uh, so we're going to time accelerate right now. And we're going to time accelerate till we get to a minute. I think that will be fine. Hopefully it's not using up too much electric charge. It is using up electric charge, but not too fast. We'll get to the sun. There it is. Yep. Again, we're just waiting till we get to a position... All right, slow down, and let's move ourselves to the right. Oh, oh. <laughs> SAS just loves to move around. Okay, so there we go. We're almost ready to do this. Uh, we'll just do a test burn right now. It says 30 seconds is burn right now. Oh wait, no, 30 seconds. Okay, we'll, we'll wait till 20 seconds. Okay, so we'll wait till T minus 10 to make the burn. Let's just see how much of a difference that made. Uh, not much. This should be good, though. So, let's just speed up a little bit. Time accelerate. T minus 10. Go! We're using up our fuel, fuel really fast. And then we'll trim it off. We've used up a lot of the fuel that we have. Let's see, how close are we? That's pretty close. What, let's just burn a little bit more. There we go. That's good. That's close enough. Okay. Now let's plan our, our uh, burn here and just circleize the orbit. That's what we're going to do. Oh my goodness, it's a little off, isn't it? I think we can move these around and get it to a better position. Slower than... I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, no, that's not what we want to do. That's pretty close. Wait, 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 wait. That's pretty close. I think if we get that done, we'll be good. I don't know if we have eight seconds. I think we do. But once we use it, I think that's it. Once we burn this, I think this satellite is forever in its location, and we'll just never have to deal with it ever again. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Let's just uh, time accelerate until we get to the burn. That's going to take a day in Kerbal time. So we'll just 
Timing's all right. Bye, Carbon. We're leaving you for a while, forever almost. We'll still be around, but really far away. You'll never see us again. All right, so... Wait, why is that not even going down? Oh, that's one day, one hour, 26 minutes. That's why. Okay. Time accelerate. Time accelerate. We're getting We're getting there. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> Where am I? I'm really far. Okay. Kerbin is over there, and you can see the moon. Look at that. It's so far away. It's so far away. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Okay. Um... All right, let's just kind of slowly time accelerate. I say slowly, it's at times like infinity right now. It's like times 100 or something. Yeah, it was times 100. We want to get to close to a minute and then slow down a little bit more. We're going really slow, actually. Okay, here we go. Let's slow ourselves down. Time acceleration. Let's just get to T minus four. That's when we want to start burning. All right, we'll slow all the way down. We'll go back to normal speed. Get ready. Burn. Shut off engines. Slowly burn. We should be in an orbit that's sufficient. Did that not work? Don't we have a mission? Nope, that's not it. Uh, reach. Maintain stability for 10 seconds. Oh! We have. Why haven't we gotten the... Please note that this must be a new unmanned probe built for the agency after the contract is... Oh. Ow. Well, we've proven we can do it! <laughs> oh, man. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, can we log temperature data? Is there any data that we can get here? Log temperature data? Nope. Um, that's about all we got. Well, that's going to remain there for a while now. <laughs> we'll put another or we'll just put another uh put another uh, satellite in this orbit. That's fine. We'll just return to the space center. So that might have been completely worthless. <laughs> All right. It's not like we spent any money on it. We just spent time. We just spent time on it. But that's fine. Uh let's look at our mission, see what we want to do. We could try to go to the, fly to the, uh, 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 the North Pole, if we want to. I think that's where it was. Um, then we have, we could try to log temperature data, or uh, atmospheric scans. Uh, basically it's with the barometer we could use, um, I think. Uh, this will be, hmm, actually, I don't know about that. Well, we'll, we'll see about that. Um, hmm, do we want to try to fly a plane or fly a rocket? Uh, let's go to the map again, just to see, like, where ev everything. <laughs> I love how we <laughs> have a satellite there. Okay, uh, let's see. So it wants us to... do something here. I think these are the uh, atmospheric... These are the missions, let's see. Pressure, yeah, these, so we need to take pressure data over here. Um, hmm. So we have to go from here to here and log pressure data. Sector KG94RF. Okay, so there we need to fly over it to and collect it, and then this is 
where we need to land and take the surface readings. Hmm. I guess we'll do that one first. Uh, I might try to do these off camera, actually. Uh, just for the, uh, the money and the science. And because they took a lot, last time we did it, but last time we did something like that and we flew a plane over there, it just took forever to get there. Although I guess, I guess I could try to f take it off, take off. I mean, I've already got the plane made. We know we have it made. <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe I'll just do it. I'll do it right now. I've changed my mind. You're going to see it. You're going to see the action. All right. So what do we got? We got, we need to load this plane. Uh, if you're c curious here, I'll just load it up. This was the vehicle I used to, uh, to, uh, look for all the science around the Kerbal Space Program and all the buildings. And I just took this around. I got enough science, I think, for two more science nodes. And it was a lot. It was a lot. It was significant. It was what allowed us to get the science that we need in order to go to the moon. So... I really highly recommend doing this, just building a vehicle like this, and sending it out and going and collecting science. You could even put, uh, you could choose for the crew, you could uh, put in uh, Bob, who uh, just has, he, um, he has, he's a scientist, so he can um, reset all the uh, used up experience, uh, science tests. So I used him, and I just went around and collected all the science. He got he got some experience for it. Um, but like I said, we're not going to do that. We've already done. Oh, no, oh, that's fine. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to go to the switchblade. Use that. We're going to put Jebediah, who is a zombie, apparently, or he just survived the crash. He wasn't actually killed. Let's just go with that. He survived. He's he's great. All right, we're going to put him in uh, in the, on on pilot duty for the plane. Uh, he might have uh, some fear about doing that since the last time he flew this plane, he might have died a horrible death. But I think it's fine. I don't think there's any new parts that we have, is there? Nope, that's it. I don't know if this will get to the, the, the North Pole because I don't know if it has enough fuel. I think it does. Is the oxidizer still out of this? Yeah, okay. Let's just let's just let's just save this and launch it, cause it's good. It's good to go. So I think I'll just take off and I'll try to uh, get to locations. I'll cut away and then I'll come back when I get there, and we should be good. Okay, so let's just turn on the engines. And we'll try pulling up immediately. There we go. We're up. Let's just uh, look at the map. Let's plan our route. We want to get head over here. So let's just turn the vessel or turn the ship. There we go. We're good to go. So, yeah, we've got up, we're flying. Once we get there, I'll come back. Um, actually, no, we'll end the episode here. Because it's about, wait, no, wait, hold on. I don't know what my time is. I had to cut, and so I don't know what, what, how, what my time period is. Um, no, we'll, we'll just fly all the ways. Um, I'll cut away till we get there, and I'll see you soon. All right, we've just reached our destination. We're going to log pressure reading. Let's see, did we get it? We got it. All right. Now the next thing we're going to try to do is land the plane over here. Uh, let's see. So we just need to turn the plane around. Uh, we're going to lower we're going to lower our engines to like half throttle. And then we're just going to turn turn to the location that we need to go. Uh, <laughs> pretty violently actually. Um, and then we're gonna just, oh, uh, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go, that's good. We're gonna land here, apparently. <laughs> this, this seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Let's just move the plane a little bit, there we go. Alright, alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Mmm, I don't think we're gonna land there. Actually. We might circle around a few times. We're actually gonna cut the engines completely. We don't need them. They're not needed. Who needs engines? Let's turn off time acceleration, in fact. That might be a, that might help us out a little bit. Actually. Uh actually we might throttle back up and we might turn around. We might just make a pass. We do want to just continue lowering our altitude though. Um let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's a good place to land, does it? Oh wait, we want to land like over here. You know what? Actually, that looks like a pretty decent place to land. Let's just land up to there. I know I'm coming in really steep, but in Kerbal Space Program, it doesn't really that matter that much. Just come in, and once you get close to the uh, ground, you just need to level out. Uh, and it should be fine. We're going fast enough. We're not going to hit the ground really that hard. It might be a little bit of a jog. We can't just jog over there. We have to, uh, we have to, um, land and take the plane because we need the atmospheric, uh, da the barometer with us. So that's just what we need to do. Let's see, are we passing it yet? We are o just over it now. And we're still not close to landing, it appears. Huh. Well, you know what? This seems like a perfect time to end the episode. So if you enjoyed the episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.